What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys my top three September crypto projects. These are going to be projects that I believe are setting up perfectly on the charts to make an explosive move up. So make sure you stay tuned till the end. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Now the first project on my list is Caspa, and I'm going to give a brief overview on all of these projects. So Caspa is currently trading at a price point of just under three and a half cents. It has a market cap of 694 million, a max supply of 28.7 billion, and a circulating supply of 20.4 billion, which is about 71% in circulation. And Caspa reached its all-time high only 25 days ago at just over five cents and has retraced 33% since then. Now, what you need to understand about this is that Caspa was born during a bear market. Caspa has never actually experienced a bull run. Based on their market cap, they are a top 60 cryptocurrency and they never even went through the 2021 bull market. So even from a long-term standpoint, I think Caspa might be a phenomenal hold. And if you guys are looking to invest in Caspa, I recommend using KuCoin, Gate.io, or MEXC. I think those are the three easiest centralized exchanges to use. And something that you may notice about Caspa's markets is they are not listed on Binance or Coinbase, which means if they do eventually get listed on those, it will make it significantly easier for the average person to get into cryptocurrency, which could skyrocket Caspa's price. Now, Caspa is a proof of work cryptocurrency which implements the GhostDAG protocol. Unlike traditional blockchains, GhostDAG does not orphan blocks created in parallel, rather allows them to coexist and orders them in consensus. The Caspa blockchain is actually a block DAG. Now, the number one takeaway from this is that Caspa runs on proof of work. Most layer ones these days run on proof of stake, where a validator's probability to confirm the next block is directly correlated to how many tokens they have staked, pretty much always making those blockchains more centralized. The rich always have more power, more control. Now, on the other hand, proof of work has always been thought to be more decentralized, but the problem is no one thought you could scale proof of work. However, due to Caspa implementing the ghost DAG protocol, supposedly they have found a way to scale, which theoretically could make them the first ever blockchain to solve the blockchain trilemma of scalability, decentralization, and security, which could be enormous for the crypto space. And essentially, Caspa's main aim is to be a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, similar to what Bitcoin was supposed to be. However, Bitcoin turned out a lot more like digital gold because of its extremely scarce supply of only 21 million, no one actually wants to spend their Bitcoin. Caspa, on the other hand, wants to be more like digital silver. And if you look back in history, silver's always been a better form of currency than gold. Yes, gold is more rare, it's more valuable. But due to Caspa being more abundant, people are willing to actually spend it, which allows it to work better as a currency. And Caspa was founded by Yonatan Sompolinsky, who's a postdoc CS at Harvard University on the MEV research team. And my favorite thing about this is that his 2013 paper on the Ghost Ag Protocol was cited in Ethereum's white paper. Vitalik himself has complemented the ghost DAG protocol. And the reality is that right now the crypto market is heavily driven based on hype and speculation. And I believe this is a potential narrative that can garner a lot of hype during the next bull run, which could be great for investors. Now, if you go to Caspa on the daily time frame, now the first thing you guys will probably notice is that I drew Caspa in a symmetrical triangle back in July when it was trading at about two and a half cents. And then it broke out perfectly up to that five cent region. Now, had any of you guys taken that trade, you could have made almost a hundred percent in just a month. Now, what's crazy is that 100% gains doesn't even seem like that much in crypto. But if you compare it to the stock market, the average return on the stock market is 10% in a year. That would mean that we made in one month what the stock market makes in 10 years. Those are incredible gains. And if you enjoy making gains in the crypto market, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. I have made many profitable calls during the bear market, and I will continue calling out projects that I believe could be profitable in the future. So stay tuned. But as for what I'm seeing right now, the Stochastics and the RSI are both getting extremely oversold. And if you look at price action, it swings from a lower low to a higher low. If you look at the RSI, it swings from a higher low to a lower low. That is class A bullish divergence. Typically that signals a local bottom has been reached. And on top of that, Caspa is also forming a potential falling wedge, which break up 68% of the time. And it has a measured move to about five cents. Now measured moves do not always play out. However, these four indicators typically suggest Caspa is about to break to the upside. And I do wanna be clear, this is a trade that I will be taking. It fits my trade style perfectly, but obviously that is not financial advice. Do what is best for you.
Now, the next project on my list is Quant, which is currently trading just beneath $100. It has a market cap of $1.2 billion, which ranks 37th among all cryptocurrencies. And Quant has a max supply of only $14.8 million, with $12 million in circulation, which is about 81% of the supply. Now, to put that into perspective, Bitcoin has a max supply of $21 million, which is extremely scarce. Quant is just over two-thirds the max supply of Bitcoin, which makes it even more scarce than Bitcoin. Now, Quant reached its all-time high back in the 2021 bull market at $428 and is down 76% since then. And if you're looking to invest in Quant, I recommend using Binance, Coinbase, or KuCoin. I think those are the three easiest centralized exchanges to use. Now, Quant launched back in June of 2018 with the goal of connecting blockchains and networks on a global scale without reducing the efficiency and interoperability of the network. It is the first project to solve the interoperability problem through the creation of the first blockchain operating system, which is the Overledger network. Now, there are a lot of people out there that see Quant's extremely scarce supply, and they just assume that Quant is trying to be another version of Bitcoin, but they honestly couldn't be further from the truth. Yes, Quant's low supply is extremely appealing to a lot of investors, but the reality is that Quant may be trying to accomplish something significantly greater than that of Bitcoin. Bitcoin works perfectly as a store of value, basically digital gold. Quant, on the other hand, is essentially trying to be the glue for the entire world economy, which quite frankly is about as big of a use case as you can get. And just an FYI, I do have other videos that go significantly more in depth into Quant if you're interested in checking them out. But Quant is also one of eight cryptocurrencies that are rumored to be ISO 20022 compliant, which is huge. This allows them to integrate within the entire financial sector, working alongside central banks with cross-border payments. And this will naturally give Quant a certain credibility that most projects do not have. And then the founder of Quant is Dr. Gilbert Verdian, who has over 20 years of industry experience in upgrading the security, technology, and business strategies of businesses around the globe in order to achieve tangible results. And I believe Gilbert Verdian is one of the smartest people in the crypto space. He even founded the ISO standard TC307, which currently has 53 countries working towards it and is responsible for the standardization in relation to blockchain and distributed ledger technologies. So if you are going to invest in Quant, I highly recommend you check out Gilbert Verdian. I think you will be just as impressed with his resume as I am. Now, if we take a look at Quant on the daily time frame, I had initially drawn Quant in a falling wedge back in May of this year, where it then broke up slightly, however, came right back down and has been trading sideways ever since. Now, you could potentially argue that the falling wedge might be still active if you extend it out a little bit, but the reality is that that $100 level has been such a strong support zone in the past. Like, if you look back in Quant's history, it has bounced off of that level so many different times. And even when Bitcoin recently crashed from 29 k down to 26 k quant went down to 92 dollars but then shot right back up to 100 now if you look at quant stochastics they were getting a little bit overbought but now they're starting to reset and the rsi is getting a little oversold neither indicator looks too bad and then if you look at the fibonacci quant is currently trading beneath the golden pocket which traditionally is a great accumulation zone so overall if you guys believe in quant long term i think it's in a fantastic accumulation zone right now i've heard people say that they believe it might go back down to 40 dollars personally i just don't really see that happening not unless bitcoin crash is back down to 15k 12k somewhere in that region which i also don't see happening now the final video on my list is Demetra, and Demetra is trading at a price point of just under two cents. It has a market cap of only 6.9 million, which is the 850th largest cryptocurrency. And this is the first and only micro cap gem on this list. Most of you guys probably have never even heard of Demetra, but Demetra has a max supply of 1 billion and a circulating supply of 357 million, which is about 35% in circulation. And I will say this is a potential downside to Demetra is that there will be some dilution in the future. But you need to understand that Demetra fully diluted market cap is only 19.4 million. That is significantly smaller than any project I've talked about so far. Like theoretically, if Demetra reached a market cap of 1.9 billion, which is not that high, there are a lot of cryptos that have reached those levels. Then you could 100x your money in Demetra. You put in one grand, you turn that one grand into 100K. You put in 10 grand, you turn that 10 grand into 1 million. So just understand how small this project is. Now Demetra reached its all-time high back in the 2021 bull market at six dollars and 61 cents and is down 99 percent since then but what i want you to understand about this is that if you go to the all-time chart on demetra you can see that it reached those levels back in 2021 and then it looks like a complete flat line however if you click on the market cap version you can see that it reached a new all-time high in 2023 this year based on market cap now the reason this is important when it reached these six dollar levels there was significantly less demetra tokens in circulation so you guys need to understand how market cap actually works demetra did not completely 
flat line and it's actually still holding relatively well and i'll show you that on the charts later on now if you're looking to invest in Demetra, you only have three options kucoin uniswap or gate io and again that's because of how small of a project it is so Demetra is a blockchain platform that is democratizing the agriculture technology space for smallholder farmers globally Demetra provides access to the blockchain machine learning internet of things sensors and satellite technology through a mobile platform that helps farmers globally increase their yield reduce costs and mitigate risks now, issues like poverty, hunger, global warming, carbon emissions, fresh water, and soil preservation are all impacted by the adoption of Demetra. Now, personally, I have never seen a project anything like Demetra, but feel free to let me know down in the comments if you guys have seen anything like Demetra. But the last thing that makes me very bullish on Demetra is the fact that they are partnered with Morpheus Network. And Morpheus Network is one of the best supply chain cryptos in the entire industry, which will significantly help Demetra get their name and technology out there. And given that Demetra's market cap is only six million that is exactly what they need they just need people to know who they are and to me that's what makes Demetra so special a lot of projects that people talk about these days don't actually have the opportunity to 100x your money now if you look at Demetra's charts the stochastics are a little bit overbought which is the one thing that I don't love right now but give it a few days and it will probably come back down and reset and if you look at the RSI it's extremely oversold so it looks great right now and then if you look at the Fibonacci Demetra is trading beneath the 786 which typically is a fantastic accumulation zone and then last but not least Demetra is also trading in a potential falling wedge which again break up 68 percent of the time and it has a measured move to about four and a half cents but do keep in mind Demetra, Quant, Caspa all of these projects that I talked about are tied to Bitcoin if Bitcoin rises most of these will rise if Bitcoin falls most will fall and also understand that macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis so if all of a sudden the BlackRock Bitcoin when ETF were to get accepted, that could skyrocket the entire crypto market. On the contrary, if it gets rejected, or if something similar to SpaceX liquidating their Bitcoin happens, then the entire crypto market could tank. So just understand those principles. But that's about all. My top three projects to buy in September are Caspa, Quant, and Demetra. And if you guys found value in this video, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. And let me know down in the comments if there's any other projects that I missed. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.